Antioch police here made the shocking announcement Monday night that they have solved one of the city's most notorious cold case homicides, the kidnapping and murder of 14-year-old Suzanne Bombardier, who disappeared while babysitting her nieces more than 37 years ago. It was a case that shook the community and continues to haunt longtime Antioch residents. The former police officers who investigated it rallied time and time again to keep the investigation going, and to make sure no one forgot Suzanne, even more than three decades after the homicide investigation went cold. Mitchell Lynn Backham, 63, will be charged with murdering Suzanne, according to county prosecutors. He was arrested Friday at his Antioch home without incident, police said. Backham, a native of Knightson, was a longtime suspect in the case. He was being held on charges of murder, kidnapping, rape and oral copulation. Justice may not have come swiftly as we may have hoped or liked, Contra Costa de Diane Becton said. But we will continue to work diligently on these cases and hopefully justice will come. Police say Backham was known to Suzanne's family but wouldn't elaborate how. They said he was identified as the killer through DNA evidence acquired in the case that was run through a federal database. The biological material linked to Backham's DNA had been in an evidence locker and was tested before, but Contra Costa de Inspector Paul Hole said that new medical research that came out within the past year has allowed police across the country to solve more cold cases. We literally saw within the past 12 months the technology improve to the point where we were able to get a match, Hole said. The crime labs are using new chemistry in the DNA process. In an interview with the Contra Costa Times in 1996, Suzanne's father, Ted Bombardier, said that Suzanne must have known her killer. Obviously, there was no forced entry. She must have known who it was, Ted Bombardier said. Suzanne was abducted on the early morning of June 21, 1980. She was babysitting her two nieces alone in her sister's Hudson Court apartment. Suzanne had just started the first day of summer vacation and had talked with a friend on the phone until 1.30 a.m. When her sister Stephanie Mullen arrived home at 4 a.m., she couldn't find Suzanne. On June 27, Antioch Police Detective Gregory Glaude received the call that Suzanne's body was pulled from the San Joaquin River by a fisherman. Suzanne had been sexually assaulted and died from a single stab wound to the heart. Days later, a report card came to her family's home saying she was making straight A's. She was young and full of life, and she had her whole life ahead of her, Glaude said in an interview Monday, later adding, it had a huge impact on the community. It has affected a lot of people's lives, family, friends. Glaude was assigned Suzanne's case on the first day of her disappearance, and it has not at him ever since. After learning of the murder charges Monday, he could hardly contain his joy, calling it a dream come true and commending Antioch Police and the Contra Costa District Attorney's Cold Case Unit for staying with the investigation. He said he became convinced of Backham's guilt at some point during his investigation but police couldn't gather enough proof for prosecutors to file a case.